NASA watched the sun throw out a coronal mass ejection double punch that could strike our planet. While the U.S. celebrated Independence Day on July 4, the sun held its own, more powerful firework display. The stellar fireworks came in the form of two solar storms, or coronal mass ejections, that are partly directed at Earth and were observed by NASA's Solar and Heliospheric Observatory that orbits our star. CMEs can contain as much as a billion tons of plasma made up of charged particles and thus carry with them their own magnetic fields. NASA has projected that the massive ejection of ionized gas called plasma will impact Earth by Friday, July 7. When the charged particles within CMEs strike the magnetic field of our planet, the magnetosphere, they can give rise to large disturbances called geomagnetic storms. These storms can, in turn, disrupt power and communication infrastructure here on the surface of Earth in addition to affecting satellites, which could adversely influence services such as the Global Positioning System GPS. The coronal mass ejections CMEs, have the possibility of triggering a G1-level geomagnetic storm, defined by the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration as minor events that can, nonetheless, give rise to power grid fluctuations and impact spacecraft operations. The CMEs could also result in another spectacular light show, this time high in the atmosphere over Earth. When charged particles travel down the magnetic field lines in Earth's magnetosphere, they create bright, colorful displays called auroras. These are usually only visible at high latitudes on Earth near the poles, but these powerful CMEs could give rise to auroras that are visible at lower mid-latitudes. The auroras connected to G1 geomagnetic storms can often be seen in the U.S. as far south as Michigan and Maine.